Pretending that there aren't communist organizations right now trying to dismantle society and the family unit is crazy. It's actually a crazy thing to have to say out loud in 2020, but it's true. The sooner we can speak freely about these issues and the sooner we help people, the sooner politicians will get real and stop running away from difficult subjects. I'm Andrew and this is Andrew Says. Now few people have the courage to speak out against Black Lives Matter these days. BLM is polling higher than both political parties in the United States. About two thirds of all adults support them in some manner. So what happens if you try to reveal the true problems facing Americans, or simply just point out what Black Lives Matter, the organization, truly believes? Actor Terry Crews found this out firsthand from Don Lemon the other night. The Black Lives Matter movement was started because it was talking about police brutality. If you want an all Black Lives Matter movement that talks about gun violence in communities, including, you know, black communities, then start that movement with that name. But that's not what Black Lives Matter is about. It's not an all-encompassing. So if you're talking about, um, if, if someone started a movement that said, uh, cancer matters, and then someone comes in and said, why aren't you talking about HIV? It's not the same thing. We're talking about cancer. So the Black Lives Matter movement is about police brutality and injustice in that manner not about what's happening in black neighborhoods. Of course, what he's saying isn't quite true because Black Lives Matter does in fact inject its viewpoint into many more topics other than just police brutality. And what Terry Crews and many others have pointed out is that it's a Marxist organization that doesn't care much for traditional family values. The same values that, statistically speaking, make for much more successful human beings. This is what blacklivesmatter.com slash what we believe says. We disrupt the Western prescribed nuclear family we make our spaces family friendly and enable parents to fully participate with their children. We cultivate an intergenerational and communal network free from ageism. We believe that all people, regardless of age, show up with the capacity to lead and learn. Come on down everyone, bring the kids. No one is too young for the communist revolution, they say. Forget your family, we'll be your family. By the way, did we mention how words are actually violence? That's what Terry Crews was trying to point out, that there are, in fact, ulterior motives here. But Don Lamone doesn't want you to talk about the bigger issues. Let's focus on this one, the one that helps by network specifically. Don Lemon wasn't always this way, though. Take a look at this segment from 2013. Of course, this was the time before Trump, so free speech wasn't as dangerous back then. Take a look. Because black people, if you really want to fix the problem, here's just five things that you should think about doing. Here's number five, pull up your pants. Number four now is the N word. Now number three, respect where you live. Start small by not dropping trash, littering in your own communities. Number two, finish school. You wanna break the cycle of poverty? Stop telling kids they're acting white because they go to school or they speak proper English. And number one, and probably the most important, just because you can have a baby, it doesn't mean you should, especially without planning for one or getting married first. More than 72% of children in the African-American community are born out of wedlock. That means absent fathers. And the studies show that lack of a male role model is an express train right to prison. Pull up your pants. Don't use the N-word. Finish school. Don't have children out of wedlock. Now, if Don Lemon said this in 2020, he'd probably be called a white supremacist. In fact, you know who else gives the same advice all the time? He says it the exact same way. Ben Shapiro, of all people. Don Lemon and Ben Shapiro essentially say the exact same things. But in 2020, there are polar opposites on the political scale. How strange is that? Now, Don Lamone wouldn't dare say this stuff in 2020, but I would applaud him if he did. Just like I applaud conservative leadership candidate Leslin Lewis. Now, in a time where politicians fear even the simplest questions, such as, should we tear down a statue of our first prime minister? Leslin Lewis actually had the guts to say this in a June 14th statement. Quote, we are seeing the discussion taken over by activists with radical proposals that will only make the problems we face worse. The organization Black Lives Matter, for example, has used current public goodwill and earnest cries for justice by demanding that we defund the police. Among their other demands, they want the destruction of the Western prescribed nuclear family structure. I believe that the family is a cornerstone of society. We should be working to strengthen families, not weaken them. That is indeed well said. Ask anyone who grew up in a single parent household if their lives would have been better with two parents instead of one. I bet you they'll say that yes, it would have been. Most of my friends did, and so did I. Now I'm not saying if you don't have two parents, you'll be a failure, 
But to deny that children aren't better off this way, especially in poor or violent neighborhoods, is completely foolish. Pretending that there aren't communist organizations right now trying to dismantle society and the family unit is crazy. It's actually a crazy thing to have to say out loud in 2020, but it's true. The sooner we can speak freely about these issues, and the sooner we help people, the sooner politicians will get real and stop running away from difficult subjects. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, whichever direction it may be in, I don't remember ever, and go to rebelnewsstore.com where you can get sweet hoodies like this COVID-1984 sweater.